Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes we want to adjust just um, colors based on the saturated thing. So we want to have an, uh, do an adjustment where there's more adjustment uh, applied to solid uh, or if you like more saturated colors and then less and less as it fades off, whether to black, whether to white or whether to gray or something in between. So to create the mask, we want to get rid of all these uh, fades here. We want them all to, to fade off to black because we want to keep the solid colors and turn those into white. So the way we do this um, is we start off here. Uh, we put in a HSL layer and <coughs> What we're going to do here is we can click on the HSV. That's the trick in this. We turn this all the way down and now this goes to white, not to gray as it would do if it was not checked. And then we go for the blend mode of difference. There we go. Difference. And look what that does. That gets rid of all the tones because we want the tones to be not selected. We want just colors to be selected and they're all fading off there to black. And to make it a mask, we want this to be black and white. So we can do this again. Uh, we go to HSL and we're going to turn down the saturation, but it only goes to gray with HSL. But if we click the HSV, it now goes all the way to white. So, and we can then turn this, this becomes our mask and we can use this uh, to mask and control other effects. So let's try one. <coughs> here we've got a picture. We've got um, things like the reds here are are quite well saturated. So we want to have more of an effect selecting those. The greens are sort of partly saturated. So we'll, you know, this grass should end up gray. This should end up white. And up here we'll have a little bit of an effect. They're not going to completely disappear because they have got some color in them. So Let's do this again. We'll do a control J to start off to duplicate the layer. Then, because we're going to convert this top and all together, HSL, bring it up like before, check the HSV, whack the saturation all the way down, and go down here and put this one into a difference blend. And then we want to make that go black and white. So we select that again, select the HSL. We are going to turn down the saturation and click the HSV to make it fill up the thing from white to black. So now we've got this. Uh, let's turn that into a single layer. So we'll just go layer merge visible which will turn that into a layer up here. So this layer now we can just delete. We don't need that. This layer gives our mask, well, we'll turn it into a mask and there's the original layer underneath it. So to turn it into a mask, we just go layer, rasterize to mask. There we go. And we want to have a curves in this now. Say, or well, whatever adjustment you want. So, but if I, from here, put in curves, it sort of appears as a child of that mask. So I want it the other way around. So I'm going to drag that up to that, drag the masks up here. So the vertical little blue bar up there. So now we've got the mask controlling the curves, bring up the curves here. Now, when we turn this up and down, we're going to affect the things. And it has quite a subtle effect. So you can make, you know, go quite a long way with this. If I turn it all the way up, so you're having a greater effect on the saturated areas so that the things which are red go almost to white. See those trousers there? And this is a quick way of doing a fairly sort of high key effect. And if I bring this down the other way, then those saturated areas are affected most. Of course, once it's fully saturated, it can't saturate any further, but it will pull up things. So if I go all the way back, in fact, this will just end up making the saturated areas go black. So there we go. Very quick way of creating a saturation mask. Hope you like that one and thank you very much for watching.